okay so now let's talk about this d flip flop this is d f f n e g negative trigger x1 so if you remember that particular slide where i have discussed like the clock to q clock to set clock to reset clock to d but clock to d is a set up and hold uh, we have discussed let's see like how the uh, things is going to happen here here the pin one pin is a clock now in within this this the direction is input now let's check another pin which is a d this is a, also a input pin but if you remember the arc it's a clock to d i draw a arc there in the slide if you remember that particular slide that means within the d section there should be a timing section and that timing section is going to with respect to the related pin this is a clock and uh, set up and hold if you remember that then the in place of a timing sense now it become a timing type hold falling so if you will see the timing type hold falling and uh, then again related pin clock set up falling so it is within the d it is like this then the third pin is a q which is a output now if it is a output definitely if you remember it is with respect to the clock also with respect to the set also with respect to reset also so that means there should be three input uh, output timing section if there is a set in the reset pin let's see if there is a set or reset pin or not so within the timing there is a related pin clock and then there is a timing sense like this is a non unit because q is a output pin in case of a d it was a input pin so you will not get any property which is related to the timing sense now let's see the if there is any other timing section go down no so it is there is no timing section with respect to set or the reset here it is just then look with respect to the clock because there is no set and reset pin at this particular flip flop so in this particular flip flop there is a two input pin the how many pins are there clock d and q and that's the reason you will get these many things now if similarly it is a d flip flop positive edge then the same thing is going to happen d and a q and done now this is the d flip flop which is a d ff sr that means in this d flip flop you will get the set and the reset both pin let's see this is my clock pin now within this clock pin uh, this is the input there will be no property this is a clock everything is with respect to the clock another pin is d now d should have a timing uh, section with respect to clock now let's see there is a timing section there is a timing section related to clock and there is a property the timing type hold rising similarly there should be something set up rising these two property now let's talk about the q pin the q pin it is a direction output it should have a relationship with the three input pins set reset and clock that means there should be three timing section one is uh, the with respect to clock which is here related pin is clock so that is a one section there should be a another section yeah there is another section which is related pin r you can see the r and there should be a third section which is related to s now since q is a output pin so the property the property which we were discussing that property is a timing sense so this is the timing sense property so you can see q with respect to s there is a negative unit if you will go up with respect to r also there is a property timing sense that is a positive unit how the positive unit came into the picture and uh, all those things that we can discuss later on but right now i'm just telling you that this information is is a part of a dot lift file and uh, there is a third one timing sense 
which is with respect to the clock. So since the direction of Q is output, and it has a uh, it has a relationship with the three input pin which is a set reset and clock so these three relationship these three timing are it has a property of timing sense what else now if you will go down then you will see another pin section which is a internal pin r now here this is a internal this is a input pin but if you remember that particular slide, in that slide I have mentioned, like this R is going to have certain relationship with the input pin clock also. Now what is uh, that uh, relationship? Obviously both are input pin, there should not be a concept of timing sense, but there should be some other property. So for that there is a timing section, within that timing section related pin is a clock, and what is that some property like timing type whatever this recovery rising or recovery falling or maybe uh, some whatever the property what is that property we will discuss that thing later but the timing type is there and that is with, res with respect to r now let's see like if there is a, any other timing section only timing section with respect to clock the another timing section is with respect to s and that is a recovery rising so now this pin r which is a reset pin it has a timing section with respect to clock also with respect to s also what else recovery removal rising done now the section is pin s input pin now input pin if you will go down Again, it has a timing section, related pin clock, related pin R, and related pin clock. So here, the whatever the property, re recovery rising, removal rising, or uh, there is a recovery rising. So we will discuss all those things later on, and done. So this is, this in the same way, you can see like in, within this dot lib, there is a full adder also. F, A, X, one is a full adder. You can have anything within the dot lips. You can have a full header, half header, multiplexer. You can have the flip flop also, or you can design a macro and in a similar form, in a similar way, you can say like, okay, this particular macro have three input pin, two output pin, and the relationship between the input and output pin is this whatever with the relationship in terms of uniqueness in terms of uh, the capacitance in terms of uh, like if it is a relationship then uh, that section is going to be part of the output pin if uh, apart from that if you want to give some other uh, uh, parameters like here you can see capacitance rise capacitance fall capacitance you can give it here so what are these rise fall capacitance so uh, as we will move forward uh, we will discuss all these things so dot lib is a something dot lib is a one of the file this is a liberty file it is the uh, if if you want to understand sta you should know the different syntax uh, you should know what all information is present in the dot lib so anyone who who is going to say like okay i'm i'm good in a I'm good in STA and if they don't know what is present in the dot lib so I think uh, they are not good in STA they know STA but they are not good in STA because from from the cell point of view all the information all the calculation that the something is uh, has a dependency over uh, dot lib file like our uh, Facebook page YouTube channel for more such updates thank you for watching be expert, by expert. Best of luck.